All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Thank you.